Hi, Natasha. I'm Azelle from the Upcoming. Lovely to meet you. How does it feel to be here this evening on the first Mediterranean Film Festival carpet? Um, it's so beautiful. It's breathtaking. I, we shot the film that I'm here for was actually shot in Malta. It's a Maltese story. So it's really lovely to be at a festival celebrating that in Malta. Um, and I've just been learning about this fort. And everywhere you go in Malta, there's some obviously historical context story, incredible architecture, archaeology. We shot a lot of the film in Gozo and in uh, Malta mainland and in Valletta, the old part. So, no, I'm, yeah, very stricken with the beauty of it. <laughs> and talking about a film, Carmen, I know you were the lead in this. So what was that like for you? Can you tell us a little bit about the story about it and, and how it was to kind of embrace uh, everything, like Gozo, the, the cities, you know, the beautiful Mediterranean? <laughs> yeah, we spent quite a lot of time in an incredibly tiny, hot church church and um, it was about 40 degrees so I used to have a sort of ice pack on my back because I was wearing stockings and a black dress I was playing a very pious sort of um, religious uh, woman and um, it's a kind of coming of age story but in middle age she sort of has had this incredibly protected life in the church um, really hasn't formed relationships, friendship or otherwise with people outside of it. She's been sort of um, her brother's keeper and he dies and then she's sort of left without a role and so she finds herself, I suppose, gets let out into the world and behaves a bit like a teenager, but, uh, you know, many years on from it. <laughs> well, I think you would if you were a bit repressed, but also the film is, has got a, quite a lot of wit to it as well, which makes it just a tremendous addition to the nine med films. Um, what was that like to kind of bring that to screen and, and add some humour to the show? Well, I think it was all in the script, actually. Valerie's uh, uh, take on life generally is quite... There's always a sort of slightly clownish element to things, you know, the, the comedy and the tragedy um, are very comfortable bedfellows in her mind. And so, um, I lo I, yeah, I loved, I loved it. I, it was a great experience. I feel so lucky. And what's it like kind of filming underwater? I know there's a pretty spectacular theme, sort of theme there. Um, I noticed our producer's been credited with being a stunt double. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> Not true. I think the titles must have got muddled up. Um, no, yes, I jumped off the boat and swam a lot in the sea and then we did like a tank and we were in a pool and we did some underwater footage and it was great, it was beautiful, yeah. And I think films like yours and obviously you've got Gladiator 2 filming at the moment, I mean this is just really putting Malta on the map. Um, do you think that's quite important for film festivals to sort of branch out and bring the Med into this? I think Malta's always been a destination, oh, at least in my career, I've always known actors hopping off to Malta to shoot things, but it's rarely for Malta. It's for another country or another you know, era, uh, so you know, the architecture is being used to double as. Whereas what I really enjoyed was making a film set in Malta that was about Malta and um, about the culture, about this this woman um, and it was based on, I mean I think like a lot of people who maybe leave their country of origin and, and grow up in another country, there's a sort of nostalgia and um, a kind of interesting perspective, particularly if you are an artist that you might have about that country of origin and I think Val is a great example of someone who's um, got a very a, a very strong attachment to, to Malta but can maybe because she wasn't raised here can have a you know be looking at it through a different portal yeah oh, well thank you so much for speaking to us and good luck tonight <laughs> enjoy your evening thank you very much Natasha thank you